Hey fitness friends, it's Coach Mike with CrossFit Wildwood, ready to deliver you all a fun and challenging at-home workout. As always, let's go. Hey guys, it's Coach Mike, it's day 26, it's Tuesday. We got another going for you today, guys. We're gonna use the same warm-up format as we did yesterday. We're gonna do three Tabatas again, all right? Wanna make sure you guys really understand the concept of Tabata. So Tabata number one is going to be 20 seconds of running, 10 seconds of walking, all right? So just somewhere outside your front door or in a park or on a track, 20 seconds on, and then just 10 seconds walk, okay? So after you've completed completed eight sets of that, now we're gonna go into a little bit of some dynamic warm up. We're gonna go into arm circles and heel and scoop, all right? So the athletes can extend their arms all the way out, touch their shoulders, and then within 20 seconds, I don't know, do three or four forward, and then three or four backwards, all right? Getting as big a circles as you possibly can. And then we're gonna alternate that movement with one of my favorites, it's called the heel and scoop. So you're gonna basically put your foot about six inches out in front of the other. You're gonna pull the toe back towards the knee, keep this leg locked out, and then you're gonna sit your hips back and you're just gonna to try to scoop the floor and then switch. Good, Ava, let's do one more. Watch her hips as she sits her hips back, reaches for the floor, all right? You should feel that in the calves and in the hamstrings, okay? And then our third and final uh, warm up Tabata set today is going to be bird dogs and dead bugs. You're gonna have to think about these movements a little bit. So let's go over the uh, bird dog. All right, you're gonna start in a tabletop position, wrists directly right, directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the, the hips. First step is to brace your core, good. And then you're going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg. The only thing I'm gonna have her do is actually pull the, the toe back towards the knee, drive her heel out, good. Show control in that position, and then come back. All right, and then we're gonna alternate that, guys, with the dead bug. Okay, so the dead bug, guys, is it another core movement. Okay, pull the toes back towards the knees. All right, you're gonna stack your ankles and knees directly over your hips. Okay, you're gonna stack your hands right over your shoulders, engage your core. From here, opposite arm and opposite leg fully extend. Don't touch the ground, get as close as you can, and then they come up at the same time. Okay, let's do two more. Good. Make sure that lower back, guys, stays pinned to the floor. All right, so we're keeping that core turned on through the entirety of the movement, all right? Guys, that completes our warm up for today. Here comes the wad. Hey guys, the Metcon for today is going to be four time. We're gonna have, start with 100 double unders into 42 dual-handed kettlebell or dumbbell deadlifts, 100 double unders, 30 deadlifts, 100 double unders, 18 deadlifts, 100 double unders, nine deadlifts. All right, so let's take a look at what those movements look like. All right, so the double under is where the rope passes through the athlete's feet twice. You wanna stay nice and vertical, jump from the balls of your feet, Relax your shoulders, that's the double under. If you don't have your dubs, you're gonna perform 200 single unders instead. So again, that's just where the rope passes under the feet once. Now, let's say we don't have a rope at all. If we go ahead and throw that rope to the side, we're gonna do penguins, all right? So same concept, we just don't have a rope, we're working on muscle, uh, muscle mind connection. So go ahead and jump, tap once, up. Nice. So you'll perform 100 of those or 60 double tap penguins. So if you're an athlete who wants to progress in their double unders, this is a great way to build rhythm, okay? And the stamina to get those uh, double unders. Then we're gonna go into dual handed. So you're gonna uh, stack the dumbbell vertically or you have the kettlebell with the handle, either way, but both hands are gonna go around the object. If you wanna get a profile view here, 
You'll notice that the athlete's back, okay, is nice and flat. She has a very strong hinge going on, okay, and her hips are just above her knees. From there, she's gonna stand all the way up, squeeze her glutes, which will put her shoulders directly over her hips, knees, and ankles. And then you'll come all the way down, touch the floor for every rep, back up. Let's do three more, honey. Good. And relax. Good. After she's completed 42 of those, she'll go back to her 100 double unders, back to the deadlifts, and so forth, okay? On these deadlifts, guys, if you have a heavier dumbbell, I'd advise that you use it. If you don't, just move faster and do larger sets. All right, guys, attack it. We'll see you tomorrow. Remember, guys, snap a picture and hashtag Wildwood Way. Thanks, and see you tomorrow.